Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you start uh, using a real money. Please, please get some education before uh, you use your life account. And uh, this is not Uh, simple about trading so before we we use uh, the other auto trades all the other auto trades are done for today and now is 3 0 1 p.m. 26 of January and uh, those trades they are coming from the market analyzer uh, based on a 15 second you can use it on a 15 second you can use it on one minute you can use it on um, five minutes whatever you like the market analyzer is based on one minute one one contract and if we look at the ES based on one minute we had a sell order you have a re-entry you have a reversal you have a target on the ES based on one contract we have a 323 ticks based on the last entry signal the market analyzer comes with a five different automated trade the nasdaq based on the last entry signal 1283 from the last entry signal and um, the reason you see on the nasdaq here is 10,000 and here is 6,000 because this one is based on one minute this one here is based on 15 second so the the short sell signal fired much earlier than the one minute on the YM we have 517 takes based on one contract is 2,500 for the ones have money on the market analyzer we hit almost 3,000 ticks into the profit base on one contract and that is the amount of the PNL on all of them for the ones do not have money they can use the ES NASDAQ and Dow Jones they don't need to trade the rest you can turn on your auto trade on any instruments you want you can use one ES you don't need to use the other for the ones have a smaller amount of money they can use a micro account ES micro account NASDAQ and a micro account YM based on one contract you have Two three hundred forty six takes Nasdaq thirteen eighty six and a YM five hundred takes. So that's a little over ten thousand based on this. Uh, the system is a very clever. If this market willing to, uh, there is a still more trend. The auto trade expand the target automatically, and if is uh, the market finish trending, the target stay where it is below. So this is a really, um, and then if you want to, you can go ahead and uh, move your trailing stop. You can extend your target, even if you move your trailing stop to certain area. And the market keep going further down when the fibs comes into your trailing stop he readjust your trailing stop to the fib line automatically and uh, all what I want to say welcome to advance uh, trading and uh, what I have said yesterday in the video is no longer that guy uh, using an ATR or a MACD or those junk auto trades they are useless uh, uh, they have to think about some other traders 
are using high advanced automated trading with knowledge and education so that will be uh, those guys are using ATRs and MACD and some kind of junk indicators and glue it to an auto trade and call it auto trade those they have no chance against those guys are using smart auto trades for every guy make one dollar there is another guy losing one dollar so the losers make the smart ones have a better auto trades knowledgeable they provide them winning trades that's what it is simple as that so uh, all 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 of them target hit uh, the cl69 takes uh, the uh, base on the last entry the 6e the dax the gold 58 the russell 500 so right now we are on as we speak we just increased by 3000 so now we have 3200 ticks into the profit uh, based on the last entry signal only uh, let's uh, jump uh, to a different uh, type of an auto trade and uh, i want to uh, start with the precision auto trade because the Fed uh, this afternoon the market went crazy but uh, uh, before the Fed start talking uh, today uh, the market was really uh, under a lot of volatility which we can you can uh, right click on the chart let's say most of those charts they were finished by 10 30 in the morning we started around 9 9 30 by 10 30 all the charts are done and in days like this uh, you can let's say the es hit the target and we were done by 10 30. if you feel like you want to continue trading what you do you right click you reload and if we kept going today we would have got 3600 and uh, this number will disappear I'll leave it here so you can see it it will disappear and uh, and then it, it disappears because what it doesn't calculate if we we stayed on we would have got 3,600 but after a long time of trading you don't want to get into a lot of volatility so what we're trying to do uh, we try to be done by 11 12 o'clock I don't like this idea keep trading all day long so uh, this one here you can see the gold we only have one chart of gold uh, we don't need to use rank of bar, line break, tick chart, one minute, and all this for the gold chart. One is working. That's it. That's, that is an indication that the system worked. So uh, at 1030, we, we did not re-engage for one more round. But if we wanted to re-engage on the gold one more round, uh, would have been much more because of today uh, the feds and the market is really moving and that what uh, you know so uh, there we go if we look at the real reload on the gold would have went against us not with us but of course the number will disappear and uh, so I'm so glad we stopped at 1030 so the whole idea is do not engage into trading 24-7 because you have an auto trade. Uh, what they are saying um, uh, on uh, 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 some other channels that you can trade 24-7 is a bunch of hogwash because you're not that kind of guy have a, a 13 there we go you can see now start taking a trade um, you don't have 13 or 20 IT people 
like the banks adjusting your auto trade and taking 300 trades a day those guys they don't pay commission and some of them they don't even pay tax on those depends on which brokers and all that so um, you are a guy who controls the auto trade you are the guy who is adjusting the auto trade you are the guy is taking the risk so you are the IT man you are the investor you are the trader you're doing it all by yourself so that's why when you have a bunch of IT people sitting on the other side uh, adjusting your auto trade to the market condition that is a different story but you're not gonna bring an ATR a Pinto 20 years old indicator and you think you're gonna uh, compete with someone's have smarter auto trade than you are more education than you are I think you're gonna smoke those traders out think again you know because you're not the only one is auto trading and you're not the only one is educated there is some people have wasted many years try to understand market condition he's been sitting on that chair for 10 years 20 years you're not gonna jump in in the rain and kick him out and take his chair you have to fight for it so again trading is knowledge discipline before the money before the amount before you provide or open an account to your broker if you have fifty thousand dollar an educated person and there is a good potential in any kind of trading whether you are for forex future bitcoin whatever there is a good potential you're gonna lose your fifty thousand there is a good potential you will lose a hundred thousand if you are an educated person and you have a smaller amount of money five thousand and you know the trick in the market you can gradually have the account grow based on your education if you want to buy an auto trade <clears throat> you don't buy an auto trade it does not support price action in our package there is uh, maybe 15 or 19 we have counted one time here auto trades from reversal to swing trading to institutional auto trade to the ti7 to the precision entry there is a huge variety of auto trade uh, to trade with but it's not the auto trades itself is when you get that auto trade how you can analyze the market should we stop trading or should we go for one more round so this is very important uh, to understand that uh, the trading in the market is about timing um, and it is about staying out as an example um, I do support today on Wednesday to all the new people I go around and uh, two people that were not aware of the feds today which is one of the most important day if we want to look at the dome you can see how the, the the prices are jumping and 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 um, on a day like this if you have not been around or you are not aware of of that um, why is so important because when the market is going fast and you are auto trading today if you are auto trading when the feds were talking you're slippage when you go into market order is around thirty forty dollars your exit is around thirty forty dollars plus commission so you have to think about it when you are auto trading and the market is going crazy that you have a good potential you are down in the hole hundred dollar to start with when you are initiate the trade so when you see we are stopped at 10 o'clock or when the auto trades got filled at 10 o'clock most of them 10 30. some of them they took a little longer because it was a space between 
every trade. It's not because of uh, being scared, it's being smart, protecting your profit and not uh, taking chances. So this is the three minutes. A CL 45 seconds. Scalping ES. YM 10.30 it was done it was two trades and done and uh, this is 320 ticks NASDAQ 410 1900 we turn on at 9.30 we were done by 9.34 5 minutes and it was done let me show you something because I'm sure the amateur people you say, well, I don't care if I'm auto trading, I want to auto trade. Uh, and uh, the auto trade should uh, solve his own problem. Not really, my friend. It is your problem. And if we notice the condition here in the market is trending. If you were auto trading here, right there, you would have lost your 1900 plus because this person is naive he don't know how the bars moving he don't understand price action he don't understand the risk in the market thinking he can get away by auto trading everyone or if you see anyone on any channel telling you you can open trade for 24 7 and he can run his auto trade all day long ask him to write a paper documented that he can guarantee you can turn on the auto trade eight hours a day five days a week have him sign a written paper to you and let's see how many people they are able to give you that paper so for the ones this is a special message to those naive traders out there amateur trading they've been just a few years in the trading industry and they brush off what i say that you cannot auto trade all day long go around because those they come like batmans at night they skip the whole process they don't have a life channel prove their ability about price action like we do and when you ask him i want to buy your auto trade can your auto trade run five days a week eight hours a day if he says yes tell him i want a written document you guarantee that your auto trade can trade five days a week, eight hours a day, or 24 hours a day. And let me see how you're going to go with it. There is no one guy with a right mind will provide you a piece of paper, not unless if he's living somewhere in a third world country, good luck chasing him. But uh, if he is in USA or in Europe, he will never give you paper. Now, if uh, he lives in Zimb Zimbabwe or whatever that is, or Africa or somewhere, you know, uh, yeah, he'll give you paper. Good luck. Go chase him in Africa. Write an elephant and chase him. Try to find him in Africa. But there is no company in USA or in Europe or in Canada it's gonna give you guarantee the auto trade can trade 24 7. of course there is a lot of big mouses out there on the internet but when you squeeze him in the corner there is no one when you scratch the surface there is no one with a right mind will give you guarantee 
that the auto trade can be turned on eight hours a day, five days a week. So this is a statement that we say we do not have this kind of auto trade. And for the ones who are looking for that kind of auto trade, please do not contact us, do not waste our time. We don't have this kind of auto trade and we wish you the best to go with the other companies can provide you an auto trade like an ATM machine it can trade 24 7 but we don't have that kind of keys for 99.95 you go to heaven I want to go back to the the signal that when we started on the uh, on the when we first started this video on the signal I'm not gonna say how much was the amount when we were trading short you can go back to the video at the beginning and you can see how much we made on the short and now the market start changing direction and you can see the auto trade has kicked in the beauty about this kind of auto trade the market has crossed support area your trailing stop is based on the fib zone and there is nothing wrong by just say I will break even or I will move the trailing stop as close as it can be to the market because I'm happy with 1500 if the market goes up, there's a good potential close 3,000. If the market goes down, you are a happy camper. And it probably you will get 3,000 on that trade. The same story and that does not require a guy with a light bulb in his head, call himself a smart, to secure some of the profit leaving gap between the target and the trade secure some of the profit and that this does not require a brilliant trader to do that but what i'm trying to tell you sometimes to maximize your profit you need to secure some of your profit and then if this market goes up we're gonna double up the amount if this market goes back we have secured some of the profit when you adopt this kind of trade you are much less exposed to the market you are much less your account on the table for somebody to grab it if you make a mistake or if your auto trade made mistake and took a trade in an area is that there is a high risk when you are auto trading there is during the daytime there is a places where it is a high risk trade and sometimes is a low risk trade when the auto trade enter the market the trader job is to spot when he is in trouble on a trade and try to see if he can get out of it because he is aware or he is looking at the one minute chart it don't have to be manual trade but he has to understand where is this market located is it stuck in the channel or is this market when he takes the trade the auto trade based on whatever it is in a good condition so Again, I want to go back to the NASDAQ uh, and I have it on the left upper corner here, the 350 ticks NASDAQ. On the yesterday video, it was $4,000. The day before, the same chart, the same time frame, the same instrument. <coughs> Two days ago, I put out a video, it was around 4000 Yesterday, it was around 4,000 
and today it was 3920 if we look at the condition of this market the way it's taking that trade it is beautiful consistent of course we will have losing trades on this chart but what is beauty about it if when you want to try to auto trade if you got lucky and you catch a trend 4000 on that chart on Monday Tuesday you didn't like the market you skipped the market Wednesday you like the market the way it moved you activate that auto trade let's say you made 2000 that's 6000 and you stop rest of the week that is the smart trader or if this guy turned on that chart on Monday and he nailed 4,000, the market was moving, and he nailed 4,000, and he stopped for this week, for the NASDAQ. Only he's going to turn on the auto trade if the market is moving properly. When another trader is using the same chart, he made 4,000 on Monday. Tuesday, it was a volatility. He lost 3,000. Wednesday was a choppy day. He lose another 2,000. Then he is in the hole. Maybe on Thursday, he might make 2,000. And then on Friday, Friday is a difficult day for amateur trading. So the guy has worked six days or five days. Does not mean he's going to earn more money than the smarter trader. He locked his profit for the week and called it off for the rest of the week where the other trader he can be trading that chart from eight o'clock in the morning to four o'clock in the evening and i promise you after 27 years behind the screens i promise you and i guarantee you that 100 percent the guy is auto trading from morning till evening he will never see a profit day in his life he might get away for one day, two days, and he's going to get his account beat day and night. And any guy is looking for an auto trade to trade day and night. This is only fairy tale because you don't have 20 IT people adjusting the auto trade for you while you are auto trading. And there is no one with a right mind, respect himself, is going to give you a guarantee, a written guarantee that his auto trade can trade five days a week. Not unless if the company based, I don't want to insult any country or anything, maybe in some country where you have to ride a bicycle to generate electricity or something. And uh, good luck, you know, get, get an elephant or a horse trying to find uh, his written guarantee valid or not. So uh, the reality to those guys, they call and they want an auto trade to trade day and night. From, f I will say it from the end. Don't waste our time and don't waste your time. There is a plenty of people out there. They sell you keys to heaven for less than 99.95 uh i want to go to cl uh the cl is I'm, I'm i'm enjoying the cl and uh, it is done at 10 30 and i'm happy with it the cl4 range i'm extremely happy with the cl4 range it's a very consistent and if you notice we were done very early on the cl I want to highlight because I highlight the charts, which the ones we use, the main charts we use. Uh, CL10 range also has been doing very well. Uh, the ES170 takes I highlight, like I do highlight the NASDAQ. Uh, I highlight the, the, the charts are very consistent. I don't know if the NASDAQ has crossed over ten thousand dollars this week i don't know if tomorrow with my luck this nasdaq on the 350 is gonna make money or not i don't know nobody knows 
until you turn on that auto trade tomorrow because I have no clue if the market going sideways or the market is going to trend I have no clue until when I open Ninja Trader in the morning at 930 and watch the market movement and anyone say other than that he is full of hot balloon this is the best words I can say on YouTube but um, um, uh, on on the 170 takes I highlight that chart I like it 12 range also I like the 12 range I uh, took uh, one losing trade welcome to trading in the morning which I really hate the first trade to be losing trade for somehow I always like my first trade to be winning trade because if the market goes sideways at least I have a little beef earned for today uh, able to gamble with this beef I earned this morning so it really can put me in a bad mood if the first trade a losing trade that can make me nervous so it is very important in the morning to make sure if you don't like a losing trade to start with maybe it will be good idea don't listen to this hog watch that you can optimize the best timing it can give you somewhere around that area but optimization is not going to predict for me tomorrow uh, on Thursday uh, at 9 30 where the market is going nobody is going to predict that so <clears throat> the first trade is a nightmare and then when the market decided to take off finally we came out of that trade in one piece on the YM five minutes is very disciplined and any and I want to show you uh, the precision auto trade does not have filter we are not using any filter on it because it does not require any filter it took the first trade and the reason there is a delay till one o'clock is not because the auto trade was struggling the auto trade took the trade at 925 and he skipped this volatility here this area here could have made you money and could make you lose a lot of money the reason is if you look at this bar how big it is this is a big jump so by the time your auto trade taking a trade any kind of auto trade most likely is going to be on that bar by the time the the auto trade because this is a very fast bar by this time here your auto trade is gonna ignite a signal what happened the market dropped heavily by the time he closed your stop loss and initiate a new trade the market turned around so story short the YM on the five minutes skipped the whole enchilada and when the market was properly smooth he predicted a drop before it happened and it did because if you look this is what what I say between a dummy ATR auto trade and some math underneath the auto trade is calculated if we look here <coughs> it is one straight line and it was perfect for me this is a smaller trade and this is a bigger trade the most money came from here but to me for a trained eye I'm enjoying that trade and I'm proud of my auto trade has predicted the drop before it happened what happened when you are using an ATR it's not gonna predict it here it's gonna predict it here by the time your ATR take that trade you're out the secret is predicting before it happened when you are using an ATR is it just a moving average a dummy moving average is gonna is not going to predict it before it happened it will react after the fact not before so 
again, you have to remember you're not the only one is auto trading. There is the other guy also has his money on the table and he's auto trading and he is an educated person auto trading with higher advanced auto trade than a guy think auto trade is a wash machine. You turn it on in the morning, you come back in the evening, you find out your account is full. Yes, your account can be full of bananas, strawberries, but it's not going to be full of money. So this is the different, the, the small details. So we are not going to go in the evening and just say this auto trade made 5,000, this one made 10,000. We wanted to explain the traders what is the different and open eyes on the details, not the PNL. The PNL is irrelevant, depends on the market movement. It's not about the auto trade. Of course, the auto trade have a big impact. Uh, if the I'm talking about genuine auto trade, not piece of junk, cannot trade minutes. So if we look at the uh, Nasdaq 590, I also highlight this one. It's one of my favorite. The Nasdaq 350 and the 590, I found them very useful for the Nasdaq. Somehow on that auto trade, now on the other auto trades, they work on a different time frame. But because of the entry on the precision auto trade, it took one trade and now 23.90. And I'm happy with it. And then you walk away. If we look at the 590 takes, if you continue trading here, you are in trouble you would have given up all your profit. And um, maybe those amateur traders, well, I want auto trade does not lose any trade. There is no one, there is not even the biggest company in the world, they don't, they cannot aim 100%. So the guy have $2,000 and he's looking for an auto trade, don't lose trade. He is totally in, in touch with the reality because he has seen too many movies and he has seen so many video YouTubes. And uh, people come at night after the fact marketing auto trades, so he thinks it's as simple as that. Uh, I highlight also the YM7 range because uh, I did yesterday as well. Somehow the 7 range is only really is making the money not trading with the trend is actually on the seven range it's been very consistent because it's been reversing the market not trading with the trend if you go back to yesterday video or the video previous before that and a day in and a day out it show us the seven range ym on that auto trade, the money is in the reversal, not in the trend with the YM, which is the opposite of the NASDAQ with the 350 takes and the 590 takes. If we look at this chart, uh, we can see took a trade with the trend because the precision auto trade reverse and take with the trend. This is the most beautiful trade ever, where manual trading cannot, I cannot spot. Actually, if I look at this one here, I probably, for me, I probably I would think it's gonna go short. The auto trade took it long at the very bottom and nailed it all the way to the top. He skipped that here, and then when the market start gaining momentum, bang. He hit it, 1140, beautiful, done at 937, perfect, close your computer, walk away. Don't let the devil play with your head because we are a human and sometimes we 
in the trading we use our motion and uh, you should be the only time you become a prof professional when you kill the greed and you be a disciplined trader this is when you become a professional trader it's not how much you make a day you can make ten thousand dollars today you can lose ten thousand dollars tomorrow a good trader start with disciplined education cold-blooded I don't care if the ES is gonna make ten thousand dollar after one hour I have one thousand dollar in my hand I'm closing I'm turning my back on the computer this is a good trader not that good trader is a bragging because we have in those last 15 years we have trained all kind of color the type of a trading people came in and we have some traders they make forty five thousand dollar a month the months after they are down forty five thousand they go fifty thousand dollar they go lose fifty thousand dollar they are on a wild coast you know you have to fast your seat belt if you want to sit next to them I have another older woman in California she refused to have any update and she only take reversal she is very consistent more than anyone has been bragging about trading and and when you call her you say you want an update she she just say buzz off I don't want anything when we give her the update she said give me the older version she don't want any update you know we left her alone she sits all day long and she wait on a reversal this is a different type of an auto trade we have she nailed it she watched the ES Nasdaq Dow Jones even if she goes down in the morning in the afternoon she nails it but she takes it manually so we covered the 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 590 we covered the seven range ES three minutes three thousand nine hundred again what save us uh, uh, on this one look at this it's not the amount it's not the 3,900 today is 3,900 tomorrow could be one banana it doesn't matter when we start turning on the auto trade I did not re respond in to here it was very light and when the top up look at this beautiful attacking the market to the opposite direction nailed it 3900 and you are done before 10 30. one trade one slam done you turn around you don't go for another round not unless if you know what you're doing and you know the market is trending if you want to go for one more round be my guest if you know what you're doing so for me uh, a good trader is disciplined walk, walking away and not expose his account non-stop to the market and I have mentioned on the other video if you listen to those people in Las Vegas what they say the only time the longer the customer stays in the casino the most potential customer this customer because he's most likely gonna lose all his money the longer the customer stays in the casino the most likely is gonna lose all his money and that is by you can go ahead and dig because they have some studies they study the human psychology in the casino there is a lot of money in there and they 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 try to understand how a human behave around gambling trading is part of gambling you cannot sit in a casino all day long expose your account thinking you can win you're gonna have a winning hands all day long if this is the way you think about trading I guarantee you 
you will never finish this year without being broke. And that is guaranteed. I promise you, and I will give you a written paper, you will be losing all your money by the end of the year. That paper I can give you. But to give you paper that an auto trade can survive five days a week, 24 seven, that it is a suicide. So please guys, to those amateur trading, the ones are not success. Don't listen to this uh, hot balloons. Uh, 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 trading is like any other business. You have to earn your money. Nobody is gonna give you the money for free. And auto trading is not an ATM machine. That is guaranteed. Uh, this is a total different type of an auto trade. This one here called the TI7. The TI7 is a total different auto trade, has 10 different entry. And this one here has a huge variety of filter. Uh, this one here, uh, what works on the ES entry does not mean it's going to work on the gold. So the reason you have a big variety of entry, because what works on the NASDAQ does not work on the ES. And the filters you have, you will find once you learn how to tweak the auto trade or how to optimize the auto trade, you will find the filter works on the NASDAQ does not work on the ES. And the one works on the ES does not work on the YM. And this is a living proof if we take the YM as an example on the seven range for the last couple of weeks, which a lot of people trade the NASDAQ, they don't trade the YM because the YM is a unique instrument. But when you find the solution for that instrument, it doesn't matter where the ticks coming from, whether from the ESCL, NASDAQ or Dow Jones, it doesn't matter when you go to the supermarket if you have a money coming from the YM, ES, NASDAQ, or Dow Jones. So what I have found out lately, the YM is giving me consistency based on a reversal seven range. Why ruin it? Why not use it? Maybe on the on the on the TI7 auto trade, maybe you cannot find a good entry or consistency on that auto trade. So that's why you have a different auto trades. It's not just to collect auto trade. It's for a reason if somebody want to trade with what kind of risk he want to take, what kind of account he has, and uh, the most important, what kind of knowledge, for God's sake, he has. Because if a guy have 50,000, he don't know what he's doing. There is a good potential to lose the whole 50,000 in one day. But to gain $50,000 a day, that is impossible. So, if, they, if we can find a solution for an instrument, this is a jackpot. This is money that can build consistency. I don't know what happened tomorrow, but this is consistency. That's all what I can say. If we take uh, the TI7 on the uh, one minute, it took a trade and then it took another trade and it was done uh, by 10.50 and this is a one minute. A couple of new traders we have, they have uh, auto trades under their sleeves as well. And after they tested our auto trades, they can see the difference when your auto trade works on one minute. You don't have to play hula bullet today and use a ranker bar and line break and tick chart and range and blah, blah, blah. When you have the one minute works on your auto trade, you can go on to ranker bar range, anything. But when your auto trade does not work on one minute, 
has become irrelevant to try a different time frame. So the one minute auto trade, it is confirming accuracy in the auto trade or in an indicator. And that's why you see a lot of people use Renko bar because Renko bar can move, the bars move and then can make everything successful. That's why you don't see any Renko bar. You can trade. We have Renko bar. We have BBT Renko bar. But you never see me showing auto trade on Renko bar because they are fake. If we take the ES three minutes, it's 27.50. And also on the TI7, uh, there is a reversal, there is a three scalping, there is a swing trading, there is all kind of trades uh, you can approach uh, the market. Here is your uh, five minutes and also it made 925 because uh, on one contract uh, it's uh, 500. I want to show another ES. If you like to, if you are a range trader, uh, you can use a range bar and um, this is 2000 and you can see what time the auto trade finish at 1030 and that's what I like, finish as early as possible. When you are using a high time frame, there is a gap between trades. You're not in and out of the market constantly. And then this is a good potential to have more accuracy in the entry, less headache. And we have, we have different type of a traders that come uh, different mood. And you have some people that want to trade the smaller time frame and you have some people that want to trade the higher time frame. Yesterday I have a new customer. He want to trade 10 to 15 minutes. He's not interested in one minute. I have another customer. He want to use the 28 second on the chart ES because he, he want to uh, get a little bit and get out and he doesn't want to trade the rest of the day. With the other guy, he want to trade all day long on a 10 or 15 minutes chart. Different uh, personality, different attitude, different money. But when you have the auto trade, um, let me show you the difference between this auto trade on the YM7 range. is making our life easy to trade because it's been taking the reversal and it's been nailing it. This is the TI7, he made 14, but he went today with a lot of a small trade and a lot of losing trade, and he managed to get 1,460. So sometimes when you have a different tools under your jaw, it's not just to show off that we have 15 times more than any other guy out there selling with the same amount of money a lousy ATR for 5,000 where we have 15 times more plus education it goes with his package the 15 or the 17 auto trades we have it's not just to show off for a reason when you are trying to say I want consistency, I want to quit my job. You have to put in your account that you need to learn, you need to manage, you need to control, you need to optimize, and then you need to earn your stripes. You cannot go from zero to 100. One day we sell hamburger, on Monday we buy Ninja Trader, we put an auto trade on it, and now we become a traders. In order for you to call yourself a trader, you have to earn that word. Before that, you're just nothing but, in, with all the respect, an amateur 
hobby trader uh, trying to test his IQ in the market and uh, you should not a guy has not learned the market he should not call himself a trader I cannot say I'm a truck driver because I sit behind the wheel if you t give me truck today I will rack it I never driven a truck before and I don't know how to drive a truck and if you give me a brand new truck I will rack it because I don't know anything about truck and business I don't know how to back up a truck and I'm always amazed how those truck driver they can go back to the one one inch between two trucks and park their cars is amazing if I do that I think I will hit three four trucks on the way back so this is not my business to drive a truck and if I want to drive a truck I need to learn you know and you can I, so I cannot say I'm a truck driver because I bought a truck you know so if you bought an auto trade does not mean you're a trader you just putting your feet in the water and you need to learn how to crawl walk and then run so if we look on the four minutes Nasdaq this is a pretty decent scalping and it was okay and it was big gap between the trades timing wise and uh, between that trade 11 o'clock and this one here that is one hour two hours that's okay Nailed it, 26.55. If we take another NASDAQ, uh, it's a five minutes NASDAQ, also is a scalping. And it, uh, you see the difference between four minutes and five minutes. It's not the, the, the auto trade, it's the condition the bars are in that chart can make more money or can make less money the way the bars are moving on that chart. So it's not the auto trade or the four minutes is good and tomorrow I'm going to jump on the four minutes. No. Today the four minutes made money. Could be tomorrow the five minutes is going to make money. And you never know. So consistency by trying out, let's say four or five minutes and then you make a decision. I'm happy with the four minutes or I'm happy with the five minutes and then I will use my energy on the four minutes and five or five minutes and then in, on the weekend I will do minor adjustment on that chart and I will make it my chart my template and I adjust it a little bit every week on Saturday or Sunday re-optimize that chart so sh that will give you indication should I use next week three minutes four minutes or five minutes that's it 15 minutes work you should not be sitting on the weekend doing replay this is wasting time this is another statement on an ES one minute 1562 scalpin and as we see we are done at 1040 and I want to show another Nasdaq and it, because I want it's very important let's go with the ES because we are covering the ES uh, this is 11 range this is a higher time frame 11 range and from 2 o'clock to it did not take skip all this gap and here in the morning skipped it and what happened here when we started in the morning we went south on two three trades and thus was penalty for us to stay longer but uh, finally made it so when we are looking at this chart we're not looking at one thousand dollar profit what we are looking at this chart it was a struggling chart today the the auto trade was a struggling it's not it was not a piece of cake for that 11 range to make money today so the things is what i'm trying to show not the pnl and be blindfolded 
not see the details. What I'm trying to show is the differential, how the market react on a different time frame, and I want to see which ones that are easy to control in the trading, and the auto trade is comfortable with the trading on that chart, and which ones are struggling and it require tension. So when we see, as an example, in the YM7 range has been success by reversing the YM. And when we see the NASDAQ 350 is trading comfortably on that, then we will do that. Then we concentrate on what is working. Because when the ES on crossing the 10 days moving average, the whole momentum has changed. The whole, your template is no longer, will be valid if you don't readjust it over the weekend. However, if you know how to look at the one minute chart, you still can see it. But if you wanna just close your eye and stay in without any adjustment, then you're gonna be eventually fall behind the market. When the ES cross the 10 days moving average, is one personality. When the ES goes, as an example, below the 50 days moving average, the whole mood on the ES has changed. When the, when the ES crossed the 200 moving average, everything has changed. All the rules has changed on the ES. So you gotta pay attention, you know. We're not dealing with potatoes here. We're dealing with market. We're not dealing with a, a dishwasher machine. We are dealing with mechanical automated trading. So, this is a NASDAQ 38 second. This is lower time frame, very efficient, very comfortable to trade on the 38 seconds with the NASDAQ on the TI7 because the amount of filters, you, you can see how the, the auto trade is not approaching the trade for every movement. You can add filters. If the market is not moving and we are using low frequency in there, low time frame, and then it takes require a little movement in the market to achieve your target. So auto trading is balance. It's like when you're on a bicycle. You cannot go too much to the left and you cannot go too much to the right. It is about balance. And balance means a lot. Timing, discipline, education, knowledge. I prefer to have a guy with $2,000 with knowledge than a guy with $200,000 and he has no idea what he's doing. Uh, the gold, four minutes, 14.40, and I want to, I don't want to keep this, I don't want to keep bringing charts down. A CL, again, if you notice, it's the same story, what happened, this is really funny, what happened on the, uh, on the uh, precision auto trade, is the same maneuver here. Uh, the first trade was losing trade. And then it was a winner trade, different numbers, different position, but it's uh, 1560, and this is really amazing. I want to just cover one more auto trade and call it off for today. Uh, I just uh, uh, put a new uh, uh, to get it ready for uh, our traders uh, on Monday webinar. We just released a new update. And I put them uh, late this afternoon. We were very busy early in the morning. I put them uh, late this afternoon. Took one trade, 11. This is an institutional, even is bigger uh, than uh, the TI7. This one here have a huge variety. It's a very, 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 a lot of different variety of entries and filters and that's why it's called institutional because it's very big <coughs> and then uh, you can see i started the auto trade uh, 
in the afternoon after two o'clock and um, nailed it uh, folks that's all what we have and uh, we will see you on the other channel tomorrow uh, at 10 o'clock eastern time live thank you very much god bless you all and wish you a pleasant day bye for now